First at five, a three-year-old boy shot and killed while he was sleeping. Surveillance video shows two cars pull up on Richard Rosell Drive and three people fire more than 150 shots into the house where the boy lived. That boy's five-year-old sister was also shot. Police say she was grazed and will recover. Good evening, I'm Brian Blakely. And I'm Alicia Barnes. This is just the latest tragic incident in less than a week where children have been killed in gun violence. Well, tonight, Fox 46 has live team coverage. Fox 46's Lindsay Klein is live at CMPD headquarters where she spoke with a gun expert about what kind of guns were able to fire off so many rounds in such a short amount of time. Lindsay? Yeah, guys, and gun violence has been plaguing our area way too often. Fox 46 spoke to a local gun expert to find out how these criminals could have fired off nearly 150 rounds in the span of 10 to 12 seconds without using an assault rifle. Round after round, police estimate nearly 150 bullets were fired at this North Charlotte home overnight in a crime that left three-year-old Asaya Figueroa dead. It's so dangerous. Anyone in the house is at risk. In the video, the suspects spend about 10 to 12 seconds continuously pulling their triggers. The guy that got out did not reload his weapon, so he shot it till it's empty. It looked like it held from 15 to 20 rounds. He so the question is, how can nearly 150 rounds be fired in such a short time? And what kind of guns were these suspects likely using? We asked Hyatt gun shop owner Larry Hyatt for answers. It doesn't look like a rifle from this video. It looks like some type of handgun uh, with a with a high-capacity magazine. While the video quality is not completely clear, the stance of the shooter outside the car hints that a handgun was being used. Modern handguns like the Glock, which is the most famous gun, probably the best-selling gun in, in the world, it has a 17-round magazine plus one in the chamber, so it could hold 18 rounds. Um, it, is, you can, it shoots as fast as you pull the trigger. At one point, you can see sparks flying, which indicates a bullet may have hit their own car. Right there, it looks like someone shot holes in the roof of their car. When it sparks. And then the other guy got out and started firing, and then it looks like the driver is also shooting. So two to three people shooting. As police continue to collect the evidence, the bullet casings could be the best clue when it comes to tracking down the weapons. There may be some empty casings around where the guy outside shot. They can find out what kind of gun it was from that, what caliber, uh, get some information. And the investigation is ongoing at this time, but Hyatt says it's crimes like this one that have people coming in for self-defense lessons at an all-time high. Reporting in Charlotte, Lindsey Klein, Fox 46. This is Money Low from the Money Low channel. Rest in peace that three-year-old baby, man. Very sad, very sad. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I'm not going to say put the guns down. You need your gun. <laughs> if you live in America, you need your gun. <laughs> Straight up. So if you shoot, just like they say, drink responsibly, uh, use your gun responsibly. Rest in peace up through your baby. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Money, little channel. And we out.